do you need people there within the technology and innovation of the future of finance? Do you still need someone on the watch? I, um, who did I talk to? Uh, with David Folkert's Landau the other day. Michael Lewis, who for years did your commodity research and now is working on sustainable uh, energy. Do you need a Michael Lewis on the watch in Tokyo? We absolutely do need people. Um, you we, still do? We need that common sense that comes with people. And the more complex our algorithms get, the, the less safe those algorithms are because they're harder to, to monitor. Um, now, we have a man mantra internally that we, exactly as Mario said, we need to replace a lot of people who are actually performing the function of a computer. So our mantra is to stop people using their hands and eyes and start using their brains. We upscale the work. People add much more value, and we get computers to, to automate um, what we hope will be much more standardized business. That doesn't mean we don't provide solutions to clients, but we provide them in a modular way where we can, we can, we can identify individual building blocks and we authorize them for use together. Mm -hmm. And that makes us much simpler and it helps us be regulated because we've made ourselves simpler. Um, but cross-jurisdictional business rem will remain. The world will mm -hmm. remain... Um, a place where trade takes place, and banks need to support that. Well, this leads to Prime Minister May. We've got the quotes in, uh, released uh, on her speech today. Here they are. We want, this is from Prime Minister May, and I believe her speech that we'll hear this morning. We want to buy your goods, sell you ours, trade with you as freely as possible. I mean, David Rubenstein, that's as simple as it is about a Washington consensus and a system that seemed to work. <laughs> Well, um, it's easy to make these statements, and of course it's, it's uh, desirable that, that all those wonderful things would happen, but the reality is uh, more complex. Uh, one of the wonderful things about financial technology is that it will make everybody have uh, access to financial services and payment systems and credit much more readily than before. And all of that will unfold over the next five and ten years. I think people will be pleased with this. And now you, don't, you, don't, you won't need to carry your credit card, you won't need to carry your wallet, uh, you won't even need to carry your cell phone because everything will probably be through your fingerprint or your, or your eye. But um, we do have greater uh, cyber crime that's likely to occur as well. And a whole variety of things that you can invest in now are things that are going to prevent these kind of cyber crimes. So there's, as you get more and more financial technology and it's become more important a part of our life, you're going to find more people who are going to try to get around the system. And I, I encourage everybody who has some type of financial tech uh, uh, device or something to make sure that they uh, are, are protected and, and make sure that they have taken the steps to, to uh, protect themselves against money being stolen or their identity being stolen because this is increasingly going to be a big problem with the whole mm -hmm. fintech uh, revolution.